Ukrainian soldiers are transforming war with robotics. On the front lines, technology is becoming a lifesaver, writes Forbes. In an old Soviet-era warehouse in the Donetsk region, Ukrainian engineers are assembling ground-based unmanned vehicles that perform vital missions on the front lines. The machines help deliver supplies, evacuate the wounded, and conduct assault operations, reducing risk to soldiers. We want the brigade to be recognized for people to understand that this work is important, that it works everywhere, said Alexander, a platoon commander in the Antares Battalion's ground robotic systems platoon. The team is modernizing standard drones by equipping them with digital communication channels, Starlink and LTE, making them more resistant to Russian jammers. Conditions on the ground dictate their own rules and we have to convert all drones to digital control, Alexander explains. The ground robots deliver food, ammunition and medical supplies, support communication relays and electronic warfare modules. The drone drives up to a trench or dugout, drops a load and moves out. No one is at risk, neither the soldiers in the trench nor the drone operator, he adds. Ukraine is actively using robotics to change battlefield tactics. It is estimated that drones now account for up to 80% of Russian casualties on the battlefield, army technology experts report. The first fully robotic assaults have already been recorded, with ground robots playing a key role in logistics and casualty evacuation, reducing the risk to manpower. In early August, the 28th Mechanized Brigade unveiled the war's first unmanned air defense aircraft. Alexander says, new modifications include remote-controlled turrets capable of shooting down low-flying drones as well as the use of robots for unilateral strikes against enemy positions. Russia is also developing its own fleet of ground robots, but Ukraine remains a leader in the introduction of decentralized systems and volunteer initiatives. Ukrainian engineers are creating the future of warfare not only for Ukraine, but for the whole world, said Luba Shipovich, CEO of Dignitas Ukraine. Organizations like Dignitas are accelerating the deployment of drones on the front lines, training soldiers and creating a technological shield for the country. Whether the West likes it or not, drones and out-of-control spacecraft are now part of the Russian and Chinese battlefield, adds venture capitalist Deborah Fairlam. The Ukrainian robot fleet is still evolving, but these machines have already become a cornerstone of modern warfare. They make it possible to compensate for the lack of human resources, reduce casualties among soldiers, and create a technological advantage on the battlefield. To expand the assault or fire support, we need to reduce costs and simplify operations, emphasizes soldier Kostas. The Russian dictator's personal life is traditionally shrouded in secrecy, but new details show how he cheated on his wife in the late 1990s and how his inner circle turned a blind eye to it, writes Agent Tvo. The book by journalists Roman Badanin and Mikhail Rubin, the Tsar in person, says that in the late 1990s, Putin secretly met with his mistress in Moscow. He used the apartment of his assistant Igor Sechin for the dates. Putin himself reacted painfully to the fact that Sechin received an apartment slightly larger than his own from the state, but envy quickly gave way to convenience. That is where the secret intimate meetings took place. The story soon came to light. 
Setchin's wife, Marina, noticed the woman's presence and extracted a confession from her husband. He, although a former intelligence officer, could not resist and directly named the name of his boss. The information reached Lyudmila Putina, which caused a serious quarrel in the family of the future president. Journalists specify that the mistress could have been Svetlana Krivonogik, the woman who is associated with the birth of Putin's illegitimate daughter. The scandal did not harm Sechin. On the contrary, he made a career as Putin's secretary, later headed the oil empire Rosneft and became one of the most influential people in Russia. The episode with adultery looks especially indicative today. Putin publicly hides behind traditional values, although in reality, he himself violated them. Today, the Russian dictator effectively lives with Alina Kabaeva, a former gymnast and state Duma deputy, with whom he has at least two illegitimate children. At the same time, the Kremlin officially remains silent, creating an aura of mystery around his personal life. Earlier, media reported that the leader of the new clan that is gaining power in the Kremlin is a woman close to Putin. The unacknowledged daughter of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin, Ekaterina Tikhonova, who has remained in the shadows all this time, has begun to rapidly gain political weight in the Kremlin. She heads one of the most influential clans in the top leadership of Russia. Famous Russian human rights activist Vladimir Osechkin said that a certain analog of Yeltsin's family has formed in the Kremlin today and Tikhonova has begun to play a very significant role in this clan. In particular, she is currently lobbying for the appointment of Andrei Belusov as the country's new prime minister. Despite the FSB's efforts to extend Mikhail Mishustin's term, the prime minister's seat may be taken by the current acting first deputy prime minister of the Russian Federation, Andrei Belusov, whose candidacy is being lobbied by one of the most influential players in the Kremlin, widely known as Katerina. A new family 2.0 has formed in the Kremlin, the Russian human rights activist reported. According to him, the main sponsor of this group, the holder of the Common Fund, is the oligarch Roman Abramovich. A source from the FSO leaked footage of an online meeting that Tikhonova held with Belosov to Osechkin. In the footage, the woman is laconically signed, Katerina. It is obvious that the daughter of the Russian dictator was brought into power without anyone noticing. There have been persistent rumors for a long time that Tikhonova is being groomed as the successor to the aging Putin. There has been no serious confirmation of this before. However, given the new information, such a development could become quite real. It is important to clarify that Putin carefully hides all information about his daughters and other family members. The media dug up information about Tikhonova being his child. The dictator himself has not yet confirmed this.